Hello everyone and welcome to Fun To Be Free. Today's journey brings us to Epcot, to Rocket Aboard Mission Space, coming up next. Hey Explorers, John with Fun To Be Free, inviting you to follow me as we discover fun together. Let's go. We're here at Epcot. On mission space, train on the X2 Deep Space Shuttle at the International Space Training Center, ISTC. Then, count down to liftoff on a thrilling simulated NASA style mission to space. During your flight, cadets will be instructed to initiate a mission critical sequence. Horizons was an iconic attraction and was dedicated to humanity's future. It is a careful synthesis of all the wonders within Epcot and applies the elements of communication, energy, transportation, creativity, and technology to a better lifestyle for the family of the future. This former attraction at Epcot occupied the same site that Mission Space occupies now. We're near the main entrance, in the neighborhood of World Celebration. We're going to launch over to World Discovery to lift off on Mission Space. But first, we're going to check out a culinary journey into the stars. We've arrived. Mission Space. Up ahead is the attraction entrance. And over to the right hand side is the Space 220 restaurant. The Space 220 restaurant at Epcot takes guests on a culinary journey into the stars. Taking a space elevator up to the Centauri Space Station Guests can enjoy fine dining and panoramic day and night views of the Earth through the station's viewports. As it turns out, this table service dining experience is extremely popular and reservations sell out immediately. The restaurant's interior will be a different video for another day. But we could still go back and look at the menu and see what they serve inside. We'll look at the three course dinners with the entrees they have to offer. Space 220 Restaurant offers a star course, like a slow rotation short rib, a Florida red snapper, a roasted free range chicken, an X2 duck, a terra bolognese, Blue House Salmon, an 8 ounce filet mignon, and they also offer space station supplementals like the one and a half pound baked whole lobster stuffed with jumbo crab and a 24 ounce bone in ribeye. Let's take a look at the exterior entrance before we join the queue. International Space Training Center, Flight Training, offers Orange Mars Mission and Green Earth Mission. Okay. 
There's the entrance for the orange mission, more intense training with the lightning lane and the standby entrance. And on the opposite side is the green mission, less intense training with the standby entrance and the lightning lane. The green mission, that's for us today. Certain whether orange team or more intense training is right for you. We strongly encourage you to select green team, less intense training, or proceed to the advanced training lab, which offers alternative space training activities for all astronaut candidates. Welcome to the International Space Training Center. You're here today to train for the greatest adventure in the history of mankind, space travel. I know you're probably feeling a little nervous right now, but don't worry. Every astronaut has felt that way at one time or another. Even the heroes who went to the moon. But there is one thing they had that you don't have yet. Training. You're here today for flight training. The most thrilling experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to your spacecraft, the X-2 Space Shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. So when you hear the words go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang on. Now you've already been organized into teams and soon each of you will be assigned a position. Navigator, pilot, commander, or engineer. The success of your mission will depend on all of you working together as a team. I'll be your Capcom, and in a few minutes, I'll give you your specific assignments. But first, our flight director has some safety instructions for you. Lieutenant? Remember the team number you're standing on. When the doors in front of you open, you will be directed to a flight station with that number on it. When you get there, please stand on the circles. During your green team less intense training mission, you will be enclosed inside X-2 flight simulators that produce sensations of acceleration. Those who are made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces or simulators should bypass this experience. As you can see, astronaut flight training isn't like anything you've ever experienced before. If you would like to opt out, just ask any member of the ISTC crew for directions. As for the rest of you, report for your pre-flight briefing. It's go time. Congratulations, team. You have been selected to train for a spectacular mission around the Earth. Your flight path will take you west across North America, Asia, Europe, and back home to Florida. You're gonna love it. T-minus three minutes and counting. Okay, listen up. 
Here are your assignments. Navigator, you'll be adjusting the pitch of the X2 if necessary, and firing thrusters for your descent. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger first stage separation. You'll also be triggering the landing sequence. Commander, you will be responsible for activating the flight sequence and for activating manual control, if needed. Engineer, you will activate the flight cameras when we reach altitude. You will also extend the wings for landing. Don't worry, when it's time to push the buttons, they will light up, then I'll give you the go. One last thing. In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks at every crew position. Okay, Lieutenant. Any final instructions for our new kids? When the flight bay doors open, follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. Then move all the way across, taking your crew position in the cockpit, and stow all personal items in the compartment in front of you. Young cadets wearing a lanyard will need a special X2 booster to train for this mission. When you enter the capsule, insert the booster as shown. Once you have secured all cargo, help your young cadets lower their restraints. Then take your seat, reach up, and pull down your restraint. After you have completed your mission, remove your X2 booster and place it in the recovery bin on your way out. They're all yours, Capcom. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Earth Team. You are on the clock. Attention, trainees. Follow the markings on the floor to your X2 training and begin boarding now.
The exit leads into the ISTC Advanced Training Lab. There's the Space Race Interactive Game. And on the other side is the Space Base Interactive Playground. There's also the mission roster. And Expedition Mars. You could even have your picture done on postcards from space. Through this hallway is the Mission Space Cargo Bay gift shop. Let's go take a look. Here's where you could purchase your very own X2 spaceship. This gift shop offers NASA themed merchandise. Including the astronaut suits. They even have cinnamon apple wedges and banana flavored space food. Let's take one last look at the shop before we go out the exit. There's the Mission Space Cargo Bay gear and supplies and the automatic doors that we just came through. It's time now to head back to the main entrance. Follow me! We're back! Prepare to fast forward through time and space. Here we are, back at the main entrance again. We've come full circle, but sadly, our journey's come to an end. Well, I hope you've enjoyed your tour of Mission Space just as much as I have creating it for you. With that being said, remember to click subscribe, smash that like button, and ring that notification bell for future channel updates. Also, follow me on Instagram and Patreon. Until next time, see you later, explorers.